Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this Firebase series, what you're going to learn today is how you can translate the the email template that was that is actually sent from Firebase whenever you want to reset your password and when you want to verify your email address. So let me give you guys a demo of what you're gonna build today. As you can see in the emulator here, when you want to let's say create a new user right so let, let me put in my email address and the password now when I click on the sub on the sign up button and the an email verification will be sent to this email in order to verify to in order to verify so in previous tutorial the email is usually sent in English but in this tutorial or oh, right now I'm going to send the email in in another language so let me show you that so when I click on the sign up button okay so registered successfully now if I go back to my uh, email right okay this is my email and this is the email that I just received when I want to verify my email address and you can see the language that is used in this email and is in French okay so I'll be showing you two ways on how you can change the email template uh, one in code and one in and one is from the Firebase console so let's get started okay so let's go back to the the Android studio here right okay so now the first thing we to do is we're gonna change the the email template the the language of the email template through code so to do that let me show you the actual code that we're gonna use so let me open up my browser and then let me open up the the Firebase documentation for the Android and if you scroll all the way down to this uh, this part here that says send a password reset email you scroll down a bit and you can see this part here that says authentication which is referring to the firebase auth that set language language code and you pass here the the language code that you want to use for the email template and that is either when you want to reset your password you want to send an email for the reset password or you want to verify the the user email address so we're going to use this code inside our app. So open up Android Studio again, and where we're going to put this code is inside the home.java here. So inside the onCreate, you can see here in the previous tutorial, we have covered the case whereby we are checking for the Firebase user that he's active and his email verified. So on top of that here is where we're going to add the code for the setting the language and to do that we're going to use firebase auth and then we're going to call the set language code so inside the set language code we're going to pass the language code which is in this example would be French so let's do that right here so we'll put it in French and you can put any language actually not any language languages that are supported by the Firebase and I'll be showing you the list of the languages later in the tutorial so here I'm going to choose French as the language code and you can only you can actually set it in this class here and it will be applied to all the uh, all the forget password and the email verification because you can see here I have a class for the forget password and I'm calling the Firebase off and I have for the for the sign up as well where I'm sending the the email verification so these fibers off will actually use the the language code which is set inside the onCreate and that is this line here so it's like you applied this code here I mean like when you add this code here it will be applied to these both cases now we've set the language code as French Let's give this a run. Let's see how it looks like in the emulator. So click on the run button and click on OK. And let's wait for this build to be complete. 
Okay, so build is complete. Now the first thing that we need to do is we need to register this user. So before we do that, let me double check that this email wasn't previously registered inside the app. So let me go back to the other project. Okay, so the user I'm gonna the email I'm gonna use isn't actually registered. That's good. Let's go back to Android Studio and the emulator and let me register this new user. And when I click on the sign up button, as usual, the email will be sent to this email address. But now the only difference is it won't be in English, it will be in French. So let's open up the my browser here and let me open up my email address. And you can see this is the email that I just received from Firebase. And it is in French. Okay. Now you can change the language to you can choose other language code, for example, let's say, uh, go back to Android Studio, let's choose, for example, Arabic, and just click on the Run button again, choose that emulator, and let's wait for the build to be complete. So now when I choose the language as Arabic, and when I send the email, the email will be sent in the Arabic language. So if I click, if I, let's go back to my Fibers project, let me delete this new user. And I'll be showing you even for the reset password. So this is loading. Uh, okay, let me delete this one. Delete this, delete account. And go back to Android Studio, the emulator. Registering this user again and key in the password. Click on the sign up. Register successfully and then go back to my email. And this is the email I just received and it is in Arabic language. Okay, now let me try to do that with the reset password. So go back to the emulator and click on the forget password button. And here I'm going to key in the email address that I've just registered. And click on send password. So I just got a new email. Let me check that. And this is the email address for the reset password. Okay. Now let me ch let me show you the other way of uh, translating the template using the Firebase console. So I'll go back to the Firebase console. And let me refresh this. I'm going to delete this user. Okay, delete this user. And then I'm going to go onto the templates tab here. Click on that. And this is the email address verification. Now, if you scroll down and look at the left. On bottom left here, it says that the template language. So if you click on the pencil here, and this will present you a list of languages that Firebase actually support. So choose the language that you want, and it will be translated inside the inside the Firebase template, and this will be sent to the email address. So let's choose Chinese, and let me click on save. So it says template language was set, and you can see it's already translated to Chinese. Now, if I open up the emulator and go back here, register again. Click on sign up. Okay, register successfully. Let me go back to my email again. And okay, you can see what happened here. So if you go back to the console, we've chosen the language as Mandarin, as in Chinese, right? But if you go back to the email, the email seems to be sent in the Arabic language. Now the, the reason why this happened is because if you go back to the, the Android Studio, and you, you remember that we've actually set the language code programmatically 
and we set the language as in Arabic. So if you want to uh, send or send the email in a different language and you want to use the the, the Firebase console method, that means that you want to translate the template using the Firebase console. So make sure you don't set the language code inside your project here. You can either do it, you can only do it either ways. You either do it in the in the code or you do it from the console. So if you want to do it from the console, you need to remove this line. So I'm going to comment out this line and I'm going to repeat the same process. Go back to go back to the console. The language is translated to Mandarin, that's fine. Now if I go back to the emulator and I'm going to register that user. And before I do that, this user is already registered. So I'm going to delete that again. Delete this user. And I'm going to open up the emulator and I'm going to register this user again. I'm going to key in the password. I'm going to click on the sign up button. And this time the email should be translated in Chinese. So if I open up the email, I can see a new email. Let me check that. Okay, so you can see here the the email is really translated to Chinese. That's good. Now let me try to do that with the reset password. This one was for the template. This was for the email verification. And to do that, you go to the password reset and choose the Okay, so I, I guess when you select a language for one template, it will be applied to the other to the other emails as well. So just now I set the language for the the email address verification, and when I click on the password reset, the language was actually set as a Chinese for the password reset as well. Okay, so to do, let me repeat that again for the password reset. So go back to the emulator. Click on the forget password and key in that email address again to reset my password. And then go back to my email. Yep, I just received a new email. Okay, so this is the email. And this is how you can translate the, the templates. Okay. Now, another thing that I want to point out to you guys is if we go back to the console, Let's let me just change this back to English and click on save. Okay. Now let me show you something that I'm sure you might be, I'm sure you like you're wondering when I you're wondering or you might be interested in actually changing the the text, the template here. You can actually do that. You can write your own template for the email email verification or the password reset but I just want to let you know that once you change this template here and you set the language either from the console or programmatically from your project here then these the, the language won't actually translate the template the reason why is because this template has already been modified by you okay let me let me give you guys an example. So let me change the this template. This is for the password reset template. I'm going to change to hello everyone and welcome to this awesome tutorial. Okay. Now I've changed the uh, the template here, and I'm going to change reset your password for this awesome and then app name I'm gonna click on the save well, the template saved and you can see on the top here to change the language in which this template is displayed we set its content to the default which means that if you want to translate this template to whatever language that you choose from the left from the bottom left here then you need to reset whatever you changes you did here to its default template. Now let me give you a let me show you the test here. We've changed the template to this and let me reset the password. Let me go back to the emulator here. 
I'm going to key in this email address. I'm going to reset my password. And the email will, will be sent in English. So, you see? The email is sent to, to you in English. Yes, it is. it does carry, like, does contain the exact things that you changed, which is hello everyone and welcome to this awesome tutorials. That's good. This is what you changed just now. But it won't be translated to the language that you've actually chose from the 5S console. Now, if let's say, oh, sorry about that. I forgot to change the template here. Okay, let me change this to, again, let's go back to Chinese, right? Click on save. Template language was set. But you can see here, what, uh, the, the message template is actually translated. It's still in English. Let me verify this with you guys. Let me send the password reset. Let me go back to my email. Password is received. Uh, you can see here, the email template is actually in English. It's not translated. So if you want Firebase to translate the this email template to whatever language that you choose from the list here, you need to set, set it as a default, which means that you can actually modify the template to whatever text that you want. Okay, so when, when we click on the reset here, yes, it says both the subject and the message of this template will be reset to default. Yes, we want to reset that, so click on the reset template. No template is reset, and you can see here when we choose English, uh, sorry, we choose Chinese, the template is actually translated to Chinese language. To verify that with you guys, let me go back to the emulator and reset my password. And this time the email will be sent in Chinese. And you can see this is the result. Okay. Yep, so that's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more great tutorials. Thank you again for watching and happy coding.